Finally, I'm done. I'm hungry. Ooh, food. Wait, Lance, what are you doing? I'm hungry. Yeah, but don't you want to eat it when we can all taste it together? We have to show them how to make it first. Fine, I'll put it back. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go show them how to make it, then you can eat it. Let's go. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. So Lance, I know you're dying to eat these cupcakes, so why don't we just get started? Okay, start. Well, wait, what? We can't start until we know the ingredients. Let's go. Wait, okay. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Line a standard muffin pan with paper cupcake liners. We're using three muffin pans to have enough for this pencil. Shift the cake flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt in a large mixing bowl. In a medium bowl, whisk together a three quarter cup of the milk, the sour cream, the eggs, and the egg whites. Set aside. Beat the dry ingredients in on low for 15 seconds to combine. Add the butter, vanilla, remaining three quarter cups of the milk, and then mix on medium speed until the dry ingredients are moistened. This will take about one minute. Scrape down the sides and bottom of the bowl. With the mixture on medium speed, add the wet ingredients in three additions, beating for 15 seconds after each addition. Scrape down the sides of the bowl and beat for an additional 15 seconds. It's okay if there are some lumps. Do not over mix. Divide the batter evenly between the muffin cups. Bake until the toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. About 20 to 25 minutes. This may take a bit longer since we're making more cupcakes. Then cool for 15 minutes in the pan, then turn out to a wire rack to cool completely. Now, let's make the buttercream icing. Cream the room temperature butter with a hand mixer, the paddle attachment of a stand mixer, or a wooden spoon until smooth and fluffy. Gradually beat in confectioner's sugar until fully incorporated. Beat in vanilla extract. Pour in milk and beat for an additional three to four minutes. Now, separate the icing into four batches. Two batches need to be smaller than the other two. Then you're going to add the food coloring into each of the batches like this. You want to make sure that you have the four colors that you need to make the pencil. Which are black, red, yellow, and tan, brown, or mixed colors if you can't get tan. Now to ice it, we're going to walk you through how to ice it right now.
now we're finished. So Lance, you can finally try it. Yay! Now we're gonna taste it, okay? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 pause. We don't wanna mess up the pencil. Yeah, but what else? We need to try it. That's true. Wait a second. I think I have an idea. Ta-da! Two extra cupcakes. Yay! Now we can still taste it. Without messing up our pencil. Exactly. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. This looks that. really good. Yeah, it looks very, very moist. Which is the best type of cupcake. Okay, ready? Three, two, two one. one. Mmm. Oh my god. That is really good. Mm-hmm. Now, I think we're gonna have to eat the pencil because these are the only two cupcakes we had. No, that's Alone. a lot of cupcakes. Well, we can share with our neighbors and friends. Okay, good idea. That sounds good. Well, bye. See you next time. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, any other social media that you might have, and we have too. And, um, yeah. Try to make them at home. And even if you don't want to make a pencil, it's still a great recipe to make any kind of cupcake. So happy back to school, everyone. Bye.